I am LaMarsha Lewis. Let's talk. Today is Tuesday, October the 3rd, 2023. This commentary will be in regards to the late senator from California, the late Diane Feistan. She uh, passed away on Friday, September the 29th, 2023. She died in office. Uh, we know her health had begun to decline for many, many years. In fact, many of her own party from the Democratic Party and both uh, House and the Senate was basically had their many times where they was asking or wanted her to resign, but she never did. It was a statement put out in February that she announced she didn't plan to run for re-election in 2024. But again, the lady was 90 years old. She should have been retired. There needs to really be in my opinion that there should be term limits for any person serving in our government in any uh, capacity of election elected official there should be term limits we have term limits to the president they can only do two terms uh this should be a, i think there should be an age limit especially once a person begins to get up in age and i'm thinking if you're in your 80s yeah probably your late 70s it's time to hey you serve your time because just like now the late senator did you really serve your constituents when your health was declining she was there from 1992 to 2023 died in office she served 31 years she was the first woman senator for the state of california and the longest sitting senator 31 years probably in those early years i'm sure she was a force many are talking about how she uh, led various uh different issues in the government i saw i was i have been seeing some videos and kind of just doing some little research and i saw when she was younger she was a very beautiful lady and i didn't realize how tall she was that really kind of captured my attention when i saw she was she was a tall lady but as we also see again as years in her latter years had her health decline i remember one time there was an issue they were voting on and she was trying to read something she had like some notes or something and i don't know who the senator was but she said just say yes or no you know yay or nay and she i i, I think she voted yay i can't remember exactly what was the vote but i think it was yay but again her health had begun to decline she really should have basically retired resigned much earlier i say the same thing about ruth bader garner she she saw her health declining and she saw how things were with trump being in office how the republicans were they their, their whole plan was to get a conservative justice that amy coney bear that i just despise and is totally unqualified to be on the supreme court they they knew what they were doing because the, the, the agenda was get her on there we're going to overturn roe versus wade and that's exactly what happened so i it is my opinion that all government officials there needs to be term limits and at some point in time when you are getting up in age especially when you've reached your 80s and even probably more so like when you get into those late 70s all we we, we can just see that the your mind is not really what it once was you know you can't really coherently give what you need to do for your constituents for for the country it's time to just hey i've, I've served my time but it's time to as they would say pass the baton to someone else and give someone else an opportunity don't be greedy you know or don't just be so about yourself because what why would you when you can see your health is declining you've had numerous of year to pay your fair share if you want to truly doing it for the service of the country but when you see you're declining you don't have the continence that you once had it's time to pass the baton it's time to let someone else have an opportunity so she passed away on this past friday september 29 she uh, she ran for governor uh, in 1990 she she lost that race but it was in 1992 she ran for the united states senator and she 
and she won by special election and been there ever since. California's first woman female senator, I we know um, now our Vice President Kamala Harris is also from uh, the, uh, California and um, the governor Yavin Newsom has already appointed uh, a person to replace her. She's is actually from the I Love JSU. Uh, Miss Butler is her name. Um, let me see what her first name is. But every, it, it, her last name, she's a black lady. Her last name is Butler. I think La Paz, what is her? Let me see if I can find what her first name is. La, La, La Paz Butler is the, is the lady that has been... Um, the governor from California, Governor uh, Gavin Newsom, has appointed or have picked her. Many people not necessarily happy with it, but hey, this uh, she has no actual experience thus far being in politics or anything like that, serving in the government. But hey, this is her time, and we shall see how she how she does uh, if she decides to actually run for the seat after I think it's 15 months left uh, either 15, I think it's 15 months left for uh, the late senator's uh, term that she will have that she will be uh, carrying out but that's what I wanted to give this commentary in regards to uh, Diane Feinstein passed away and I do really believe that there should be term limits in every capacity of our government and once a person gets up in age Especially when you're reaching the 80s, and that includes the, uh, the current president. We know uh, President Biden is 80 something. You know, many people don't have their thoughts and opinion about his age, but at the end of the day, he is running for re-election, and, and I do plan to support he and our Vice President Kamala Harris. But we have to be real here. There should be term limits, and once a person gets up in there elderly years, their latter years, it's time to pass the baton. I'm a Marsha Lewis. Let's talk.